All right, good morning. Welcome to Mr. G's Basement at 5 a.m. And welcome to Mr. G Rant today, because today we are going to talk about Steam versus the Epic Games Launcher. And you're going, Mr. G, why do you look so tired? This is 5 a.m. and I was going to be playing Red Dead Redemption because I thought it was going to be unlocked this morning. Uh, but it's not yet. It's unlocked later. So we're doing this video for y'all uh, instead. So this glorious visage you get, this is this is me at 5 a.m. Lucky you, face cam. Um, I've been using Steam since before some of you were even born. Uh, I think I used Steam the first time in 1999. Uh, when I was trying to install Half-Life 2 off of a CD onto my Pentium 2 in my parents' basement. Uh, Steam was basically Valve's DRM at the time, which required you to connect to the internet, which I had to do over a 56k modem. And I was like, what the hell is this? Well, now it turns out Steam is my game platform that I've been using forever. And if you haven't noticed, they just rejigged the library to look more like the Epic Game Store using tiles. Uh, and I've got how many games in here? 209 of 321. Um, apparently I have software and tools. I remember having 111 tools uh, in here. But there you go, you can see uh, I've been using Steam for a long time. Uh, it's got a lot of things going for it. You can do it in offline mode if you need to. Um, but you've got to have your password entered at least one time. It does have two-factor authentication. Um, also has an app you can get on your phone, which is handy if you just want to look at your games and scroll your friends list. How's the store looking on Steam? Well, stores, you know, it's a store. It's going to advertise you games, but you can also follow uh, curators, which are people you think, hey, they recommend decent games. Uh, I can check them out. It's also going to really pay attention to um, what you like and try and recommend games to you that it thinks you like. All stuff that the Epic Game Store isn't going to do uh, because the Epic Game Store is just going to show you whatever games they've got because they don't have nearly the library of games uh, that Steam has. Probably the biggest thing that you're going to get from Steam that you're not going to be getting uh, on the Epic Game Store is uh, reviews. Um, but we all know with Steam, you know, some of those reviews can be uh, not as accurate as we'd like. For example, when Borderlands 3 decided to come out on Epic and everybody was like, well, we hate Epic because when we think of Epic, we think of Fortnite and everyone over 25 hates that game. Uh, and we're like, oh, why aren't you on Steam? So there were a ton of terrible reviews for Borderlands 2 uh, on Steam. But for the most part, I do really enjoy getting access to reviews, uh, ones that are recent and all reviews, and some of the extra information and game stuff you're going to get on Steam that you're not going to get on the Epic Game Store. So there's there's my pros and cons uh, of Steam. Let's chug along and uh, jump over to the old Epic's Game Launcher. All right, currently there we are. Yep, I didn't wasn't lying to you. We are still preloading uh, Red Dead Redemption 2. But if you haven't used the Epic Game Store just because you're like, it sucks, I'm going to stick with Steam. Well, there's some reasons you might want to reconsider that. Um, reason number one that uh, I enjoy the Epic Game Store is I've gotten a lot of games 100% free. Now, just last weekend, I played a free game on Steam, which was great. It was a free weekend for Generation Zero. I got to keep that game for a whole 24 hours, and then it was gone. Not so with the Epic Store. If they offer a free game for a few days, you get to keep it forever. Let me show you the games that I've picked up for free in the last couple months since I've been using the Epic Game Store. Got all of these Batman games for free. Enter the Gungeon, free. All the Lego Batman for my kiddo, for free. Rebel Galaxy, uh, got that one for free. And it's just picked up Soma for free. So if you look at my library, that's almost 50% of my games in my Epic Games library are for free also as a youtuber um there's one other really cool thing for me that i like which is if you go to buy a game on the epic game store it's going to give you an option click buy now we don't actually want to buy this well maybe i want to buy this it looks kind of interesting um dun, dun, dun. i can uh put in a creator tag right here and that if i do that i can go ahead and actually end up uh Donating part of the money uh, goes to that creator. So if you were to put in my creator tag, which is Mr. G, 
all caps, P-L-A-Y-S, plays, which I can't use my own tag. Haha, <laughs> very funny epic, but that means I would get a little part of the sales for that game and it costs you nothing, which is pretty awesome. Uh, other than that, though, the big downside with the Epic Game Store um, is there aren't any recommendations, really. There aren't any reviews you can look at, per se. Um, you're just going to see whatever games they've got going on right now. Um, looks like there are. Yep, there's so much still free. You can still pick it up free. Uh, and that's it. And there's not as many games on there right now, but obviously they're just starting out. Ended up, yep, yeah, going to have to get that Red Dead going later. Um, so I would say solely for the reason that you get a decent amount of free titles and not just lame titles on Epic Games Store, give it a try, give it a look. It's not like it's a huge system hog on my system. It's not terrible. Um, and I don't have to play Fortnite on it. No, there's no Fortnite on here at all. So if that's one of the reasons you've been like, I'm never touching that, um, reconsider it. They also take slightly smaller of a cut than Steam does. I think the average is around 30%, which is like, wow, that's a lot. Which is why, hey, maybe devs really do put a lot of extra thought into which platform they want to release on. If you guys found this video useful and you want to see more 5 a.m. rants of me just rambling over a cup of coffee about what I like and don't like about stuff, do let me know with that like button. I'm going to guzzle this coffee and catch you guys later. Mr. G out. That's good. That's really good.